Okay, now we're going to have a look at uh, attaching the bullet connectors to the speed controller and then also to the, the motor. Um, I've got red, black and I've also got a piece of yellow heat shrink. I'm just going to cut that up into um, pieces about maybe 20 mil long um, to go around each of the connectors. Now, if you don't have yellow, you're just going to need to use either the black or red and remember which one you're using. Um, it's handy to have the three colours so that when you do set it up on your plane, um, you can just plug those three wires back into each other. If you switch any, um, any two colour combinations, so if you had the red, yellow and black plugged into each other, the motor would uh, spin in one direction. But then if you changed it so it was uh, red together, black and yellow together, and black and yellow together again, it would spin in the opposite direction. So if you change any two leads, the motor will change direction. So what we want to do is we want to set it up so that um, we've got three colours, if, if, we, if possible, three colours to work together so that every time we're plugging the motor into the speed controller, it's consistently going to be the right way and the plane's not going to want to fly backwards. So I need to cut six pieces. And still, I had some left over. Uh, if you don't have yellow, you would have to make these a little bit shorter so that you got six out of the red and black. Okay, now I've got um, one of my bullet connectors up in the clamp here already. I've got the female um, bullet connector. Now I want to put the female ones onto the speed controller and the male ones onto the motor. Um, that's just the way that I've purchased a few other motors and they've come with the male bullet connectors on them and it sort of makes sense so that if you didn't have a um, motor attached to the speed controller it's a bit like plugging something to the main socket you want the female the, um, female bullet connectors there so they don't touch together if there's nothing connected so again with a nice clean tip on the soldering iron turn on my extractor again These um, pieces of peat shrink are going to be able to slip over the bullet connector afterwards, so I wouldn't wouldn't worry too much about getting the uh, heat shrink on on first. Otherwise, you could just put the red, yellow, and black heat shrink on, and then we'll match up the motor later on. So there we go, I've got a pool of solder in there. I'm just going to get my first lead and dip it in there and just give it some time to set. There we go, my first one's on. going to match up the motor that I've done previously and you can do the same. Um, so I've got red, black then yellow. So if the label's oh, we'll go if the, if the label's up, um, we're going to have the opposite. So I'll just put them over so I can get it right. So red, I'm just going to have to be careful that it's not hot. Yeah, it's still hot so I'm not going to put the heat shrink on just yet. The yellow one was okay to go. Hopefully the black one we can slip straight over there. And red. Okay, so I've got um, my speed controller with the label facing up. I've got red, black, then yellow. Um, and if we pair up the, the motor in the same fashion. The motor's got 
three chords already. So um, I've already tested it with my other speed controller, so hopefully this one's the same. If I go um, yellow, black and red on here, so yellow, black and red on here, um, the motor will spin in the right direction. So I'll just get my lighter. And we need to be a bit careful here that they don't uh, shrink in underneath the lip and also that they're not sitting back because if they're sitting back like this, they're going to be able to touch each other. So we need to be able to insulate those connections and make sure that they're going to be safe. Just needed a bit more heat into the yellow to get it to shrink down enough. There we go. So my three colours ready to go on the speed controller and I've got my uh, battery connector on the other side. Just got a little bit of movement in, in the red one so I might put a bit more heat into that one. Don't want that coming off. There we go. Okay, so with my speed controller completed, red, or red, black and yellow, and my battery connector and terminal um, all attached and heat shrunk, and so that they're not going to short out against each other, uh, that one's completed. Now I need to do the motor. I've got my male bullet connector, gold bullet connector, up in the clamp here, and it's exactly the same. Um, I'm just going to put all three bullet connectors on and then line the heat shrink over the right colours. Okay, and unfortunately my uh, memory card filled up just as I was finishing my um, red bullet connector, but it was the same as all the rest. And now we're just going to do exactly the same as we did for the uh, electronic speed controller and shrink down these bits of heat shrink. Now, you don't want these all the way up to the tip obviously because they've got to slide inside the last bullet connectors, but we are going to have them just over that lip so they start to wrap around that uh, first surface. One done, and it's going to be hot, so don't touch it. Two. And three. So they're going to be hot, so I'm not going to touch them just yet, but we're going to be able to plug them straight into the um, speed controller 